guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing the Midwest. I'm your host, John B. And today, I've got a mystery, mystery tackle box <laughs> unboxing for you guys. This is something I've never done before, so I'm a little nervous. I've never done an unboxing, let alone a subscription-based box company unboxing. So this is really exciting. I'm super nervous. I don't know what's in here. Actually, I know what's in here, but you don't know what's in here, so it's a surprise. What Mystery Tackle Box is, is it's a box you get once a month. Um, you have to sign up or order on a certain date, and then your box comes the next month, or if you do it within the time period, you'll get it um, within the time period that you, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Basically, <laughs> what happens is, is you sign up for this box, and you get a bunch of lures, and you basically get more bang for your buck. So, depending on what subscription you get, if it's like uh, a one month or three month or a year, you get so many baits that basically are more valuable than what you paid for them. Um, so the MSRP of, let's say, if you were to get like one box, like your first box is $4.99, um, the lures that you're gonna get in there probably come up to a price around $16, $17, or even more than that sometimes. Today we're doing the September 2015 Mystery Tackle Box Bass Box. This is full of bass lures, and I can't wait to open this up. I'm sure you're wondering why is he still talking? I wanna see what's in here. But we'll get to that. We're gonna do that. But first I have to open the box really slowly. Like, you have to open it up slowly, you build up the anticipation. Oh. Right off the bat, because that's what every <laughs> unboxing uh, YouTuber says, is they say right off the bat, right off the bat, we've got a Spittenwa by River to Seed. This is kind of a cool frog. I don't think I have it in this size yet. I've got the bigger size. The bigger sides are heavy, and uh, they're a great little frog. They walk very nicely, and they have that kind of cupped mouth, so it spits water while you're walking the dog with it. This is the Spittenwa 55. The 70 is, of course, the bigger one. And you almost need like a 7.3 heavy to throw that one. It's so big. But this is very light. You can throw this on like a 7 foot, 7.3 rod and get away with it no problem. Uh, the next lure that we've got right here is a Charlie's Worms. I don't know what this is called. That's why we have the bait card because some lures don't have the... Okay, so this lure right here is the Lil Zipper Dipper. That's an awesome name. <laughs> and it's like a little swim bait right there. Perfect for like a swim jig trailer or you could just rig it weedless and run it through grass and pads and things like that. That's a nice color though. Um, Mr. Daggerbox is doing a really great job lately of putting in some good colors. Um, this is a great little color for lakes that I fish, kind of stained water and a lot of the bass around there feed on darker colored bait fish. So that's perfect. Like I said, that last lure was a spitting one. That retails for $10.49. So if you were to get this box, for 49 or 499 uh, it's your first box you're already getting your money's worth just with that spit and wall so that's pretty cool but again these are all smaller size packs than you would normally get if you were to go to the store and buy them or online the whole purpose behind that is because if you're getting into bass fishing or if you're already a really experienced angler want to try new lures you have a few lures to try out with you know you don't want to go out and buy a whole pack and end up not liking the lures and this is kind of what mr tackle box is all about it's not only supplying you with awesome lures but at the same time, you're getting new lures that you may not have tried before that you potentially will buy again because you know you never really have the guts or, or, or the money to spend on that specific bait. The next one is Biospawn. This is the plasma tail, the four point, four and three quarters inch size, I believe. Let's see what the bait card says. I'm pulling out the bait card. It's like juggling a bunch of stuff. This is the, ooh, it doesn't say. It's a four pack for two twelve, two dollars and 12 cents. And I don't even really need to talk about these. These are a great little uh, worm. These models actually don't have like the little plasma tail on there, which I kind of like because I can kind of control if I want to put it on there or not, like dip it and spike it or some sort of chartreuse dye. It's a cool color. I'm definitely going to be getting used, a lot of use out of that here in a little bit. This is a cool lure, actually. Um, there's always a lot of Strike King products, usually. Not all the time, not in every box, but very often. And I'm a huge fan of Strike King lures. And uh, this is their Rage Toad. This is a lure I grew up fishing. And it's just an awesome bait. You know, I don't even I don't even need to know if this is a good bait. I already know it is. And you get three of them in there. And these are usually pretty expensive, these rage tails are, so it's nice that you're getting that. That costs a whopping $347 for a three pack too. So like I said, if you were to get this for $499 as your first box, it's a no-brainer, man. You're getting your money's worth already. Like I said, just with this pit one. We got some hooks in here as well. So if you were out, oh we got actually two more baits. Sorry, I jumped the gun. Um, these are Pen hooks again a, a company that I follow on Instagram but I've never really tried out um, never fished these I've heard some good things about them but you know personally I just wouldn't normally go on their website and purchase them so Mr. Tackle Box has staved me the step you know put it in my box so I can try it out and I can decide whether or not I like it and if I like it then I'll keep buying more uh, but I've heard a lot of great things about pen hooks 
these. I'm trying to think what models are, what model is this? Oh god, I'm losing all my stuff. This is the H hook, so I believe this is like for creature baits, lizards, and for a two pack it's 120, which actually isn't that bad. But uh, it's a special little design on there. Boom. But that's the pen hook. It looks kind of strange, but I heard the hookup ratio is pretty day gone good. And then probably one of my favorite lures in this uh, this month's box is this Buddha Bates insane swim jig. I've been catching them on swim jigs a ton lately, so this is gonna get a lot of use. Three eighths ounce, which is you know kind of heavy, but like I said, I may I may find that I like fishing this three eighths. I normally fish a one fourth ounce just because I like fishing with a slow rate of fall. But this looks like. An absolute beast. The hook on there could even be used for flipping. That's what I might use it for this month. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm also doing a mystery tackle box slam. It's going to be associated with Hooked Up Network, so it's going to be really exciting. I'm not going to go into detail too much. I'll save it for the MTB slam that I'll be doing here in the near future, probably this weekend, but who knows. I'll actually be competing up against Fluke Master, um, Tackle Junkie, uh, Bama Bass, and I think that's his name. And we're going to be actually going head to head, but the only lures that we can use are the ones in the Mr. Tackle Box. So it's a Mr. Tackle Box Slam tournament. Wow, that's crazy. I know. So I can't wait for that. But this is a cool little jig. I think I'm able to smoke the competition with this dude right here because it's called a swim jig, but we might flip with it. Keep that on the DL. Fluke's probably going to watch this and, and say, oh, I was going to flip with it too. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that out. Uh, a couple other cool things you get in there besides the baits is you get a chance to win. Where'd it go? I lost it. What happened to it? Oh, here we go. Match the hatch. This is something they've been doing kind of new. It's been in the past couple boxes, but I think it's fairly new. It's a scratch off lottery ticket. Basically, you get to see if you win something cool. You can win um, rods, Lorances, like like HDS7 units and things like that. You can win like an eye bobber, which is basically like the deeper. And um, I can actually kind of see, I think I actually might've won. I, I can see like the, the elevated imprint. Oh no, I don't think I won. I'll scratch this off later or do it here in a little bit. I'll do it right now. I'm hoping no one comes down here because this is really embarrassing. I'm doing an unboxing video just in the middle of nowhere right now. Let's see if I won my match the hatch contest. If I didn't, I'm quitting Mystery Tackle Box. All right, first we got a grub, a bobber, and a craw. This is looking pretty not so promising. And then next we have another craw, KBD, and KBD. Dang! I didn't win. What you have to do is you have to match three in a row, and there's been some some troubles with that lately. Uh, some people have been throwing away their winning cards, <laughs> apparently. The thing is, you don't have to match them across. You just have to get three of the same. So I could get, I could basically, I don't know, I can't believe I'm explaining this, but you could basically get a KVD here, a KVD here, and a KVD here, and you've won. It doesn't have to be on the line, or, or I don't know how that would even work, but it doesn't have to be across. Match three symbols, basically, to win the prize. But I would have won a Pudge. I wouldn't want a T. Allen rod. I've actually gotten to hold one of those, and they're very nice. They've got microwave guides, I believe. Dang. I think they should still send me one just because I tried really hard. So basically what else we got here is, uh, you know, your bait card, like I mentioned previously. That tells you what you've got, so if you're unfamiliar with it in the products. Uh, and it's got, like, the hashtag, too, and the website. So you can literally just go straight to the website to get more baits if you like them. Um, then we've also got a Dibbles Digest. There's... Carl Von Dibble, KVD, the other KVD, not the KVD, the other KVD, the one that catches fish, this one catches fish, and uh, it's basically got tips in here, articles, uh, fluke masters in here, there he is, man, you can't really escape this dude, can you, he's all over the place, yeah, he's uh, he's in there, Three, five ways to find fish without electronics, oh, it tells you five, what, five apps you must try, this is cool too, so everyone's on their phone today, I mean, I've got mine with me right now, I'm recording audio on it, but you know, you could literally go from here and then pick up apps from Lawrence and I'm rambling right now, but this is kind of cool. I mean, you could you could go in here and read and get a lot of knowledge too. So while you get these baits, you get a little bit of knowledge to fish these lures. Not specifically, but t tips, you know, like five uh, ways to find fish and without electronics is a great little tool to know in the summertime because the problem is, is fish go deep and they get hard to find. So that's cool. That's really cool. You get a little, uh, card. It's your first box for $4.99. That's a no-brainer. Um, I'm trying to think what else is in here. Oh, then you get a sticker too. This is probably my favorite part because then I can put this on my car so that everyone knows that I have a mystery tackle box. I mean, they they cram so much stuff in here. It's it's a learning process as well. It's not just like you get some lures to fish with. You know, they're, 
their goal is to not only supply you with good lures, but to also teach you how to use these lures. Because there's no point in fishing these things if you don't know how to fish them. Um, especially if you're a beginner and getting into bass fishing. And I always am learning stuff from these little dibble digests and, and some of the articles they write on the blog, too. So very cool. Uh, really satisfied with this month's box, to be honest. I, uh, I really like this, although I didn't get as much confetti as I'd hoped. That's kind of a downer. I mean, look at this. I only got like probably four strands of confetti. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That actually doesn't bother me. Uh, but very cool box. I'm, I'm stoked. Hope you guys enjoyed this month's unboxing video of the Mystery Tackle Box. This is the first one I've actually ever had ordered to my house, or I guess in this case, my dorm. So the whole experience is exciting, waiting for the box, doing an unboxing video, checking out the lures. The next step is to go fishing with them. Like I said, I'm gonna be competing up against Flugmaster, Tackle Junkie, the biggest names in the bass fishing YouTube world. And we're gonna be competing up against each other in a hooked up hooked up network tournament basically that's associated with hooked up and mystery tackle box and us youtubers so it's going to be exciting um all i got to say is gene i hope you're ready because i'm going to smoke you even though you're in georgia you better watch out man i'm telling you it, it's it's going to be it's going to be uh brutal as to how many uh, fish i'm going to bring in but <laughs> i'm just kidding so thanks for watching if you guys are interested in getting one of these boxes of course i'll leave all the links i probably already left them all throughout the video but i'll leave them all throughout the video as well and in the description and in the comments and i'll email them too i don't know i'll leave them all over so you know where to get one of these for yourself if you're interested in doing it but uh awesome box can't wait to get some more thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of fishing in the midwest